Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gothic Ministry. We host the minister. And welcome to another episode of this. Since I see they're rather small, I decided to go ahead and do a few of them in one day instead of waiting per Sabbath to actually do these. So, first and foremost, thank you, Lord, for the people that have decided to come and watch these videos. And I thank you for you and for your holy word, my God, through the Holy Scriptures. And I thank you for you, Lord God. I thank you for Yeshua HaMashiach. And I thank you for Jehovah. I thank you both because you're awesome and you are one. And I thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done, are doing, will do. Thank you, my Lord, my Master. Amen. And I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for also attending to this video. I thank you and appreciate your time and effort in watching this, listening and hearing, as well as taking and receiving of these things. But here's a seed for this lesson, and now you have it. And it's up to God to let it grow. And I thank you for taking the opportunity and the time to learn these things as well, for those of you who, do, who don't know these things. So, for this one here, you already know what the title is called, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. And also, Shabbat Shalom. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into this in first book of Proverbs 16, 6. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 6. I love the book of Proverbs. It's really awesome. 16, 16, 16, 16, actually. I love background music. How about you? I love background music. I can do it without it when I'm doing ministerial things, but I just love to have it. And if you're wondering what kind of background music I play, uh, actually some of the stuff I've been playing from a PS4, so. And I got this background music going on. Cool. And again, we was at Proverbs chapter 16, verse 6. All right. Proverbs 16, verse 6, by mercy and truth, by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, in other words, by the reverence of the Lord, by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. And there is too much evil in this world. The evil of this world, I loathe. Not love, loathe. Loathe is the exact opposite of a gate love. I hate, I loathe, I despise the evil of the world, the evils of the world. But I love good. So, again, Proverbs 16, verse 6, By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, by the reverence of the Lord, men depart from evil. Now for the next one. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 2. Ecclesiastes. And Ecclesiastes chapter 7. Verse 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is end for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it in his heart. I have no clue what that had to do with it. <laughs> I guess it was somewhere in there that actually had to deal with this specific topic, but that had nothing to do with a specific topic. Again, I'm not perfect. But at my best guess, my best guess is that I actually had something in there to deal with it. And there's nothing I'm reading in there that actually has anything to do with this. I don't know why I put that in there. So. We'll go straight to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. How about them apples? Mm -hmm. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. So, 
This is going to be something a little familiar, but also slightly different. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Remember that one? Here's the other part of that same verse. And that everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. So every one of you, this would include myself. So, I always use myself as an example. So, every one of us, every one of you watching, and me, who names the name of Messiah, Christ, depart from iniquity. That means I'm to depart from iniquity, all of it. You're to depart from iniquity, all of it. We are all to depart from iniquity. For those of us who nameth the name of Christ, and I nameth the name of Christ, so the Messiah. Or in Hebrew, Mashiach. That's what it is in Hebrew. So, and fortunately, that is actually one of the few times that I actually get the name of the Son correct. However, it is not exactly a name of the Son, it's more of a title of the Son. So, such as my title. My title is priest or ordained minister. That's what I am. That is not part of my name. Christ is not the name of the Son. That is a title. It's part of who he is, but not part of his name. So, there's many people that don't know that. Most people think that actually uh, Yeshua Mashiach is actually his full name. It is actually not his full name. It's usually just his first name that is known by people. Unfortunately, his name has been perversed by many people to actually mean something else. That is not, again, this is not a subject for that thing, but Christ is the correct name. So if you name Christ, if you name Messiah, if you name Mashiach, depart from iniquity. That is the moral of this seal. So again, it is a seal. So Christ in itself is a seal. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time and effort in watching this. And I thank you for taking the time to watch this out of your day. I appreciate the love and support. And I thank you. I love you all. And Shalom Shabbat. And the hate salute. And love and peace. Until next time we meet.